everybody, it's Carrie from the Rapid City Public Library, your friendly neighborhood teen librarian, and if you are watching this video, it means that you picked divination for your Trash Panda treasure box this month. So let's take a look, see what you got in your box, and what you can do with it. Okay, so in your boxes you should have gotten some directions and a tea leaf symbol chart. You should have gotten um, some mugs, paper towels, a fancy gold teaspoon, and some cream Earl Grey tea, which I think smells absolutely delicious. So when you're ready to read your tea leaves, you're going to use your spoon and pull out at least one scoop. You could do one and a half or up to two um, scoops of those tea leaves. Um, you're going to put them into your mug and then just add some warm water. It doesn't have to be boiling. You just want it to be warm enough that the tea leaves will start to seep. And you're gonna let it sit there. You can stir it to jumpstart that process. And then we're gonna let it sit for anywhere between two and five minutes. Um, and while you're doing that, you wanna be thinking of whatever question you want to be asking the tea leaves. And then once you've let your tea sit and it starts to look dark enough, we're going to take our spoon and we're going to use the flat part of it and set it right next to the edge of that cup. And you should be able to pour out the water, but not the leaves. And you want to pour out most of the water, leave it so it's mostly damp, turn it upside down over a towel or a plate, and that's going to give us the tea leaves that we're going to read using our symbol chart. So take a look at those tea leaves. Start to see if any of them look like shapes that are on your symbol chart. Something to keep in mind is that any leaves that are right at the very bottom of your mug, that's further in the past. Closer up to the rim is closer to the future. So I'm gonna go over some things that I think I see. Right there in the middle of that cup, I notice a shape that looks kind of like a hook. Which as your symbol chart tells you, could mean that uh, you've just gone through a time for learning new things. The next symbol that I see is sort of on the edge, almost to the rim of the cup, and that is kind of a cross or a plus sign. And our symbol chart tells us that that means protection or safety. And then finally, right sort of along the bottom facing away from me, I see a horseshoe shape. And our symbol sheet tells us that a horseshoe can mean good luck or success. So reading tea leaves isn't an exact science, it's kind of an art form, and the more you do it, the better you'll get at it but I hope this has been kind of a fun experiment for you. Thank you for following along, guys. I hope you enjoyed your subscription boxes this month. Next month is gonna be a game theme, so take a look, see what kind of game you might like to put together and how you wanna show everybody that you rock at it. 